welcome to school 2020 in this video we will discuss about animal tissue explain animal tissue answer a tissue is a group of connected cells that have a similar function within an organism there are four basic types of tissue in the body of all animals including the human body on the basis of nature of cells and the presence or absence of the intercellular materials or matrix secreted by the cells. And they are number one epithelial tissue, number two connective tissue, number three muscular tissue and number four nervous tissue. This is a diagram of epithelial tissue and epithelial tissue is divided into four types simple cuboidal, simple squamous, simple columnar, stratified squamous. Epithelial tissue Main functions Number 1 Functions as the lining of various organs Number 2 Protection of underlying tissues Number 3 Secretion of waste products including protein. Number four, absorption of water and nutrients. Number five, transcellular transport of specific materials. The cells of the epithelial tissue lie closely or side by side on a base membrane. Based on the size of the cell, the location in the animal body and the nature of work, this tissue is of three types. Squamous epithelial tissue. Cells of this tissue are flat like scales. The nucleus is large. Example, wall of the Bowman's capsule of kidney. Besides providing cover, it is mainly active in filtration. Cuboidal epithelial tissue. Cells of this tissue are cuboidal, that is, the length and height of the cells are nearly equal. Example, Collecting tubules of the kidney, mainly active in transportation and covering. Columnar epithelial tissue. Cells of this tissue are narrow and elongated like a column. Example, found in the internal wall of the intestine of vertebrates, mainly active in secretion, protection and absorption. Based on the number of cell layers arranged on the base membrane, epithelial tissue is of three types. Number one, simple epithelial tissue. On the base membrane cells are arranged in a single layer. Example, Bowman's capsule of kidney, kidney tubules, wall of intestine. Number two, stratified epithelial tissue. Cells are arranged on the basement membrane in more than one layer. There are some stratified epithelial tissues, the layers of which can change in minutes. Three or four layers can turn into seven or eight layers in a moment. That is why it is often called transitional epithelial tissue. Example, integument of vertebrate animals. Number three, pseudostratified epithelial tissue. Cells of this tissue are arranged in a single layer or basement membrane. The cells are not all of the same height so this tissue is stratified example trachea now this is a diagram of connective tissue what is connective tissue this is a tissue that has more matrix compared to the number of cells is comparatively less based on structure and function connective tissue is mainly of three types Number 1. Fibrous connective tissue. This type of connective tissue lies below the body integumen and sparsely in muscles. In the matrix, different types of fibers are visible. Number 2. Skeletal connective tissue. The internal structure tissue, structural tissue of the body is called the skeletal tissue. The skeletal tissue forms the skeletal system or the internal structure of the body gives the body definite shape and firmness 
helps in organ movement and locomotion, protects the soft and sensitive organs of the body, produces various types of blood corpuscles and forms the surface of the attachment of voluntary muscles. Depending on the formation, skeletal tissue is of two types, cartilage and bone cartilage. Number 3. Fluid Connective Tissue The matrix of the fluid connective tissue is liquid and mobile. Different kinds of organic colloids are soluble in the matrix. The main function of the vascular tissue is to maintain circulation in the interior of the body and it plays a special role in protection from diseases and blood clotting. Fluid connective tissue is of two types and they are blood and lymph. This is a diagram of muscular tissue. Blood is basically a muscular tissue. Growing from the mesoderm of the embryo, the particular type of tissue capable of contracting and expanding to affect movement and tissue forming the muscles of vertebrate animals is called muscular tissue. Matrix is nearly absent in muscular tissue. Muscle cells are delicate, elongated, and fibro-like. Based on location, structure, and functions, mus muscle tissue is of three types. Number one, voluntary muscular tissue. Number two, involuntary muscular tissue. And third, cardiac muscle. That means heart muscle. This is a diagram of nervous tissue, which is really important. In this chapter, we will know less about nervous tissue. In the 10th chapter, we will know more and elaborately. So what is a nervous tissue? The particular type of tissue which forms the nervous system is called nervous tissue. It consists of numerous neurons. The nervous tissue can transmit the stimuli within the body and according to that can make the appropriate response. The special type of cells which form nervous tissue are called nerve cells or neuron. A typical neuron has three parts. Number one, cell body. Number two, dendrite. And number three, Axon. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.